freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Weatherman Phil Connors <laughs> is spending the day in Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Phil? Ned! Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Bing! But Phil's about to find out. He's not just stuck in Puxatawney. Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? Chance of departure today, 100%. He's stuck... <laughs> in Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Bill? Ned Ryerson? Bang! Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? At first, he was a little anxious. Bill? What? Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. But now, we could do whatever we want. <laughs> He's discovering the possibilities. Don't you worry about cholesterol? Why? And living life mm. like there's Phil? no tomorrow. Phil Connors! Ned! Because... There isn't. I am an immortal. I have been stabbed, shot, burned, frozen, electrocuted. I'm a god. You're a god. I'm a god. I'm not the god. He's out of his gourd. But to get what his heart wants most... What are you looking for, Phil? A date for the weekend? ...means living this day over again, <laughs> till he gets it right. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I study 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aimera. You speak French. Oui. Bill Murray. Andy McDowell. To the groundhog. I always drink to world peace. Well, what should we drink to? I like to say a prayer and drink to world peace. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. <laughs> Be okay. Yes! Life has a funny way of repeating itself. What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. <laughs>